Late on Sunday, Independence Day protests turned to celebrations. Tunisians had come out in their thousands, angry at a failed healthcare system, rising unemployment and deteriorating state services. By night, President Kai Sayed had taken action, sacking the Prime Minister and suspending Parliament. It's the first time in my life I've heard a head of state make a correct decision. We have taken our country back. This is the first time I've gone out to the streets to celebrate. After assuming executive authority, the president walked the streets where, 10 years ago, protests led to a revolution. He received a hero's welcome. But the Arab Spring's democratic legacy now hangs in the balance, as critics fear this is the beginning of a return to autocratic rule. Concerns Saeed rejects. The measures that will be implemented immediately are, the first one, is the freezing of all the mandates of Parliament. The second decision is lifting immunity for all parliamentary members. The third one is that I will lead the executive authority and I will appoint a prime minister to help me. A decree will be issued soon containing the dismissal of the prime minister and inviting another person to lead the government during this period. The mood was very different when the parliamentary speaker tried to enter the parliament building. Rashid Janucci wanted to call a session in defiance of Syed, but the army stopped the former political exile from entering. He's accused the president of carrying out a coup against the revolution. Today, we were surprised by the supreme decisions in a country that is proud of being the first Arab democracy and having the latest constitution announcing decisions that are essentially a coup d'etat, and it is called nothing but a coup. It's been a bumpy decade of democracy, public anger over years of corruption, political bickering and a looming fiscal crisis had already soured many Tunisians against the government before the COVID-19 pandemic. Demonstrators are celebrating the day's win, but the reforms they're demanding still need to be addressed. Liz Maddock, TRT World.